Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, hope everybody's doing okay. Today I'm going to show you how to install Blackrack's Volumetric Cloud Mod into KSP. Um, if you're using stock KSP system or if you're using RSS. And when you get to the end of this video, if this video has helped you, please leave a like and please consider subscribing if you want to see more KSP videos. The first step that's really important I'd recommend is to use 7-zip because other extractors can cause issues. So definitely use 7-zip and I'll put the links to everything that we're doing in the description. I also recommend doing a fresh clean install of KSP if you can. But if you can't, then you have to remove things like Eve, Boulderco, AVP, SVE, Spectra, 64 Clouds, KSR, SSVE, <laughs> any versions of Scatterer and Eve, any cloud configs, anything that changes your graphics, remove those, remove the configs and remove the mods themselves. TUFX should be okay to keep in, but if you want to be sure, then I would, before you start doing anything, just take your game data folder in your KSP, in your main KSP directory, and move that out of there into like a desktop folder or something and then you can put it back in later and that will be the very last step that you do i do again recommend a fresh clean install because that helps troubleshoot a lot of stuff you're removing eve scatterer but this mod will contain those two mods so you don't add them back in later they've already got them in there okay so we click on the download link and that brings us to here so you want to download this and open it with 7-zip and when you open it with 7-zip, you'll get this file. And this is really important. You want to go to your KSP main directory. And I'm not gonna do this because I've already installed it, but you just want to drag this game data folder over into the main directory. It's really important that you don't put that game data folder inside the game data folder. Just drag it over and pop it in here and it will merge. So that's a really important step, the mistake I made in the beginning. If you're playing on a stock Kerbin system, then you're absolutely fine. You've done all you need to do. Um, I would go back into the game, check that, check that the clouds are working, and then you can go back in and add your mods. But remember, don't add in um, Eve or Scatterer again because you've already got them in your game now. If you want to use this with RSS, then you have to scroll down um, around about here again I'll put all the links in the description that I can um, obviously some of these are paid links um, so here it says you can use ballistic foxes RSS config um, you go on to ballistic foxes patreon this is free you just have to join for free and that brings you to this now it says to go on to the very first link don't do that <laughs> you want to come down to where it says 64k terrain and then you want to click on the download link here, which will bring you to this. So essentially what we're doing now is adding in a mod called RSS Reborn, but this uses Blackrack's volumetric clouds. If you want to use RP1, then go and install that. But if you don't want to use it, you can uh, skip this step completely. The next step is we can ignore removing environmental visual enhance enhancements Eve. We don't want to remove that. If you if you've not removed all your mods and stuff and you just want to do it selectively, then remove Copernicus, that's okay. Remove Parallax uh, stock textures, Parallax mod, remove RSS te textures and any RSS mods you've got, real solar systems. You don't want to remove Scatterer though. Do not remove Scatterer. The next step, this is really important. You need to go and download Copernicus from this link here, which will, uh, bring you to this page on github really important you don't want to download this version number 11 or the newest versions as of now as of the date of this video you want to come down to version 9 and download this version here this version these versions are not going to work for you okay that's really important when you go to download that you want to get the download for that and i'm going to cancel that because i've already downloaded it so I've already installed it. Uh, you get, I believe it's this file. It's this file. Now, important in this step is when you're installing Copernicus, you want to come inside the game data folder and inside your 
ksp main directory click on the game data folder and then drag and drop these from there to there um, straight over just into the folder don't put them in any other the, of these folders um, drag those into there so then you've got the right version of Copernicus installed okay so when we come back to these instructions we can ignore step 4 completely because we've already done this and then we want to install parallax so ignore step a when you get parallax you want to ignore all this and just come down to where it says assets if that's not open just click the little arrow and download parallax 2.06 zip that will give you that will give you this and then you want to come into your back into your game data folder in your main directory game data's folder and then take the parallax folder don't read the install instructions they're just confusing just take the parallax folder and drop it into your game data folder so then that's parallax installed okay so now the last step is to come down to the second page and download one of each of these so don't if there's multiple downloads just pick one set of textures these are all the planets and objects and stuff in the solar system they're all configured to use the volumetric cloud so they're all going to look nice so this will take a little bit of time to download them all um, but i recommend downloading them all at once so you've got them all ready and downloaded so you're not doing one at one at a time and getting confused about what you've done have them all downloaded then oh, you can see i've got all these uh all the systems here then what you want to do the first one you you download will be the config file right you and you want to download the first one don't download the one that says no parallax because we just downloaded and installed that download that one when you've got that this is important as well go into the file with 7-zip go into the game data file and make sure that you're in your game data in your main ksp file again and just drag and drop that over don't don't bring the whole game data folder over and merge it like we did at the first step because some things don't carry over you have to do it that way so once you've done all them you should be good to go that that should be all you need to do you, you i would say you know open up your game make sure that's all done um, if it's not let me know in the comments i'm not an expert on this but this is the exact way i found that worked to avoid the most common problems use 7-zip always use 7-zip if you can do a fresh clean install of ksp don't put black Rock's game data folder inside your game data folder just let them merge in your main ksp folder and get version 9 of copernicus not the newest version so again let me know if you have any trouble with that i'll help you out as best as as best as i can and I hope that helps. I hope that's got you flying in your new volumetric clouds. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you very much. And bye-bye. <laughs>